Hey guys, um, so I decided to make another video. Um, this, I wanted to talk about um, the division game that's being played right now and how important it is that we, we, we remain balanced. Because um, I'm just gonna, you know, again, I, my channel, my videos are just about my experience. So you might be experiencing something different. But when you, it, it's kind of like, um, you have this small percentage of people who are uh, screaming and hollering real loud. And so it makes it seem like they're a larger percentage than they actually are. And it's, it's very important we keep this in mind. And, and the example I want to use is at my job, they, um, they mandated vaccines. I talked about this in my other video. Um, I'm not in a position where I can quit my job uh, on principle. So I got the vaccine and, you know, I'm, I, I put it in God's hands. And again, if you want to listen to that video, you can, but I'm not going to go into all of it. But um, it was actually a pretty easy decision for me because I, I uh, but I had made comments to people months and months and months ago, maybe a year ago, six months ago, that I wasn't going to get the vaccine. Okay. But when the time came, I gave in because I have responsibilities that supersede my own, um, really my own <laughs> health and safety, really, because as a, a provider, as the as um, the main provider for my family, I, I'm not in a position to have the luxury just to say, well, I'm just going to quit my career that I've been doing for 21 years and go deliver pizzas. That's not going to work. So. Um, Anyway, other people can do what they want, but there's a lot of, even that, there's people who say, oh, you should just quit your job. Matter of fact, I'm just listening to someone who um, I really respect and admire, and this person is saying, oh, you should, just, you should just walk out. You should just quit your job. You shouldn't get it. You shouldn't be forced to get it. In principle, I agree, but in practical life, I got a family to feed, and I'm not going to do that. You know, and you could call me weak. You can call me whatever you want. And maybe I am, maybe I am weak, but I'm going to take care of my family first. My family is always going to come first over my needs, over everything else. And you can argue, oh, you have to do self care and you have to do all that. Yeah. Well, fuck that. I'm going to take care of my family. Number one, then I'll do self care. Then I'll do things for myself, but family comes first, period end of story and um getting getting the vaccine for me was you know like i say it was an easy decision at the end of the day because i really didn't have a choice and um so what i've noticed is most of the people i work with I, i've talked to so many people about this everyone's talking about this and basically even people who got vaccinated did not agree with the fact that it was being forced now I know there's a I know there's people that in deep inside they they're like oh good I hope everybody has to get it because they really are just it in their heart they're really just almost like sociopathic because I can't understand any other uh, to 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 force anything on anyone is it's you know it's a kind of rape really right I mean you're you're forcing it, 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 you're forcing people to do something that is against their will. And that is wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong uh, karmically, energetically, however you want to put it, however you want to phrase that. I use the word karma, but uh, that's a trigger for some people. Um, but the fact is, is it's not right. Okay. Most people that I've talked to agree with that. They even, even though they got the vaccine, even though they, they, they determined that it was right for them to do it and they made the decision to get it. Um, very, I haven't talked to one person who said, well, I think everybody should get the vaccine. Now, I know there's people that think that way, but I haven't heard anyone say that. So it's interesting. Now, maybe the people I'm close enough with at work to talk to about it Maybe they're just more like-minded like me. You know, they think more like I do because, and that's why we're friends or whatever. But when you look at social media, it's just, it's just a complete, you know, 
it's a complete shit show. You've got so much division. And um, I've been doing some tarot cards just for fun, and I hardly know anything, but I bought a book on, on it, and I'll, so I'll pull up about three or four cards over a subject, and then I'll um, read my little, you know, I'll read my book, and, and um, I kind of get a gist of, I got a gist of the cards now to where I can look at the card and, and know if it's basically, you know, kind of positive or negative or whatever. And, um, and really, there's really no such thing as a negative card. It's just, it's just, it's just, um, it's kind of just showing where things are at. So things can always be changed, you know. We always have the power to uh, use our will force to change things. And, um, and and that's kind of like why we're in the mess we're in right now because we, we've just been kind of been led by our noses and we haven't used our will force uh, appropriately. And um, so anyway, um, there's it, just, this is when I pulled the cards for the, um, I asked, what is the purpose of this vaccine? You know, beyond beyond the medical purpose, you know, beyond, you know, they claim it keeps you from getting COVID. And I, I believe that that's true. I talked to a doctor, I told you in my other video, I talked to a doctor and he said most of the, most of the cases at the hospital were unvaccinated people. And that's, that's a fact, you can't dispute that. I mean, at our hospital, almost all the people who were admitted did not have the vaccine. I mean, I see that myself. So I'm just talking from my experience. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not arguing anything else. And um, but when I did my cards, the cards told me that this was the. This was how they're. This is basically a tool that's being used to bring down the bad. The bad players. To it's 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 a tool to bring the system down. This old system has to collapse. And then you know, like I was talking about in my video earlier about Afghanistan and how. You know, it's the fall of the cabal. The, the cabal is being taken out because at the end of the day, the, the, the cabal is using Afghanistan to run, you know, all kinds of operations. I mean, they're, they're doing all kinds of dirty operations in these countries. So we may not like the Taliban and say, well, the Taliban's bad, but maybe the Taliban's better than what was there before. You just don't know. And, and like I said, there's so many things going on we just have no idea um, we don't know and um, anyway so the point of this video is that we just don't let them don't let them divide us you know everybody makes their decisions everybody lives with the consequences of their decisions we don't have to agree with them we don't have to disagree with them we don't even have to it doesn't even have to be on our radar I was reading some uh, quote from from Dodgy, um, the heartfulness president, the current heartfulness president, and he said when people would go visit Babaji, he was the third president or second. He was the second president of the heartfulness system. He's the one that really kind of got things going. He started getting the ashrams going and um, and kind of building. He he really built built it up into the organization and um, that it is now. And so. Um, he said when people would go visit him, they just, you know, people would just basically comment on how accepted and how loved they felt. And without judgment, there's no judgment, just, they just felt loved and accepted for who they were. And think about how rare that is in this world to just be accepted for, just accepting something for what it is without having to judge and without having to critique. And this, these dark players have used, um, They've used these instruments, uh, things like judgment and, um, you know, looking looking down on people, um, prejudice, prejudice is a form of judgment, and using those control systems against us for so long. And I think it's just, like for me, I just, I'm at a point where I just, I just, I can't stomach it anymore. It's just like, uh, it's just gross. It feels gross. And I noticed as I've been doing this heartfulness practice, I'm becoming less judgmental. I'm, I still am. Don't get me, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm still got my, you know, my, um, my little demons will pop up, but things be, are becoming more, more and more smoothed out. And, um, it's, uh, it's a blessing. It's a real blessing. So anyway, I just want to leave you with that. I, 
don't let, don't let them divide you. Don't don't let this whole thing divide you. Focus on what the, the goal of life is and, and and coming closer to the divine. And um, you know, I was talking to my wife, and she was saying how this getting sick and all this stuff really brought, brought her closer to God. And I mean, what a ble- I mean, what a blessing! Holy cow! I mean, isn't that awesome? That's such an awesome thing. Would that have happened if she wouldn't have got COVID? I don't know. Maybe. But maybe not. So, I mean, COVID ended up being this tremendous blessing to our family. I mean, I'm going back in my my weights, doing my weights, and I'm not feeling blessed. But um, it's I'm going to recover. I'm going to build back. But you know what I'm saying. In the big picture, the, the important thing is that you know all of this is going to bring us closer to to unity to God. And God is unity. God is in everything. And um, this is important. This is important that we get to that place. So um, best wishes to all of you, and I hope you have a good day.